YouTube, it's Tracy from Entrepreneur Girl and today is Tracy's Tuesday Tips and we are going to be talking about how to find quality inventory for cheap. The first thing I want to say to you is we officially have over 1 million views on Entrepreneur Girl YouTube channel. So how awesome is that? A big, big thank you to all of my subscribers here on the Entrepreneur Girl YouTube channel. But today for Tracy's Tuesday Tips, we will be talking about two garage sales that literally run across the United States and also about store closings. And these are the methods that we are going to be utilizing to find quality inventory for our eBay and our Amazon FBA for Last cheap. Month, I have been traveling with my mom and we have seen uh, Florida, which I live in, Georgia, Tennessee, North Carolina, Kentucky and Indiana. traveled all throughout these six states and enjoyed a whole month vacation kind of recovering from my father passing away and just you know spending some time you know healing together and it's been wonderful and I thought to myself this is exactly why I do what I do with eBay and Amazon because I can take a whole month off and travel and I like the phrase that my new coaching client Julian used he used online nomad and I thought that is so perfect because that's exactly what I want to be I want to be able to work from anywhere uh, from my computer making an income so that I can travel and do other things like that which is why you haven't seen some of my typical videos this past month so I am getting ready to return home to Florida and you'll see more of the stock videos and the private label and all the stuff that we were doing prior to my month-long vacation while I am up here in Indiana returning my mom to her house I am hoping to take advantage of the first thing that we are going to be talking about today which are the garage sales that literally run across the United States. There are a lot of different garage sales to choose from. You can just Google it like I've done here. Um, there's the great US 50 yard sale that goes from uh, Cal California to Maryland so it's like east to west coast but you can kind of look through all the different ones here. And there are a lot of them. And this is a great way to utilize mass garage selling because instead of going to one garage sell at a time, you can bring a trailer or an SUV or whatever and go to these garage sales and just literally load up, I mean, just months of inventory stored in your garage or wherever you can until you can list it. The one I specifically want to talk to you about today, however, is the 127 yard sale at 127yardsell.com and this is the one that I'm hoping to go to because this is just in a couple of days which is why I wanted to tell you about it today and if you go to this website you can see the map and you know just kind of learn about it and what to do but I'm going to be meeting my sister hopefully in Ohio if everything works out and as I'm making my way back down to Florida I'm going to go to every grad cell that I can. It's crazy. It's only two days long. There's no way you can make it to beginning to end. I hope to do it on the 4th. If I do, I'll be making a video about it to show you. You can get a lot of inventory, inventory that might take you weeks or months to accumulate all in a couple of days if you do it right. So I wanted to notify you that it was coming up and also if you do do it please bring some kind of trailer or van or 
huge area that you can store your stuff. Some other tips I would add is to get a hotel room the night before wherever you're going to start so that you can leave bright and early and get busy. Also focus on the house garage sales, not the businesses that are set up in tents beside the road because those tend to be the better deals. You'll also want to bring in water and snack in case you don't want to stop or the restaurants are crowded because a lot of people do this. So you want to make sure that you have everything you need in your vehicle, even like diaper wipes, uh, just anything convenience wise that you might need so that you don't have to stop at these crowded places and you can just maximize your time because it's only two days long. Second thing we're going to be talking about today is taking advantage of store closings, specifically Sports Authority because that's what's closing right now. But depending on what when you're watching this movie or what area you're in, always be on the lookout for store closings and this is why. I actually want to show you for e-commerce, there's boy and girl forms for $2. They're racking, like the clothes racks, $20. All of their racking, even their huge shelving units like that are being sold and they're really good prices. So I thought I have got to pop this video out so you can see some of the stuff that's being sold. I mean, their carts. TVs, microwaves, um, units like that, you know, $60 for that. There's all kinds of display racks for merchandise. There's the circle clothes racks. So if you have the Sports Authority in your area, I think they're on their final days, even the signs are being sold off the wall. And everything looks to be about 85% off, but the prices are excellent if you've ever priced this stuff out. And you might be able to use it in your house for room, you know, to uh, do the e-commerce to just house your stuff. Or if you have a business, or if you have a warehouse, even the mirrors, everything. It's kind of crazy. But I'm definitely gonna grab some of this stuff. The stair rack. Uh, they don't have very much merchandise left. You can see it's just all a little bit up here on the floor. See TVs, microwaves, but I'm gonna get some forms. I don't even have these, so I'm gonna. We can stand them on a table, use them for a lot of different things. I know they're four rack, but I can use them for a lot. Uh, Speedo bathing suits for eight dollars. All right, I just had to pop this out and show you because it's crazy. Star Wars, which is really popular right now, all really steeply discounted. These were not a good deal. They're still $29.94 here, so I can sell them less on Amazon, so no thank you. So those are 
$4. Now that's what I like to see. So my cousin came over yesterday and said that the local Old Navy was going out of business. So my reseller ears perked up and I thought, well, I have to hit that before I leave Indiana. So I am heading to Old Navy and you want to take advantage anytime that you hear a store is going out of business because that can mean really, really good sales. And even though I stay away from clothes and Old Navy is a clothing store, I mean, just for personal reasons, I would like to go, but um, any clothing store also sells non-clothing items. So you can scan all of those and I can always sell clothing on eBay. So that's always an option too, or you can get ungated in clothing and sell it on Amazon. So you don't want to discount clothing stores, especially ones that are going out of business. So we are hitting Old Navy today. Oh my gosh, it's cold. $3.97, normally it's $22.94. Baby items sell really good on eBay. I like to do lots by size, like 12 months, six months. And if it's going into winter, I'll do a winter lot. Or if it's going into spring, I'll do a spring lot. And I've had really good luck with that. So I'm gonna look at these baby clothes and see how good the deals are. And then see if I can't create a lot for eBay. Well guys, I hope today's video was really helpful to you in some small way. If it was, please thumbs up below, leave comments, let me know if you have participated or if you're going to participate in this year's garage sales or what your local sports authority is doing because they're all a little different I'm finding. Until next video, I will talk to you guys later.